Sometimes I feel like a time traveler. One minute I'm doing one thing and I blink and time seems to dilate in front of me, putting me somewhere totally unfamiliar. Yet we always come back to the things we love. My father had asked me to help him with a miniature project recently. And for some reason, that was the incentive I needed to pick up my water pot and paintbrush again. You see, he's working on a scale model of the Black Pearl. And it came with these little dinky resin miniatures of the crew. He may have been a bit aggressive with the spray primer, so I had let these minis stew in some paint thinner for a bit. So I can give him a proper cleaning first. Look at this guy. There's actually quite a bit of detail hidden behind that primer. This fellow over here had lost his sword in the cleaning process, so I had to do a little bit of reconstructive repairs. I think a thin gauge wire would work well for a fencing foil type of weapon here. Yeah, just give it a bit of sanding. And there we go. Yeah, I like that. At this point, I got that same feeling you get when you haven't been on a bike for a really long time. It feels slightly awkward at first, but the moment you get in that saddle and put those feet on the pedals, your body just instinctively knows what to do. Turn on the compressor, plug in the airbrush, get a bit of paint thinner, some gray primer, and it's off to the races. Why is getting started on a project so hard? It doesn't have to be. In fact, starting a project can be one of the hardest things, especially if you've been putting it off for a while. If you get it in your head, plan out all the moves, speculate on all the steps required for it to get to completion, that psychs you out from even starting. There's a beauty to the routine that we put ourselves into week to week, day to day. If you program yourself in such a way that the first step automatically kicks in, the rest of it follows so naturally. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you might be wondering what I've been up to for the last five months. And for those of you new here, welcome. I'm Narb, and based on the second word in my channel title, I like to make. And that's just what I've been doing for the past five months. Making stuff. You see, in addition to crafting and this YouTube channel, I've spent most of my adult life programming, writing software. But in all my years of coding, there's one thing that I've always wanted to tackle, but never had the chance to take to completion, and that's making a video game. It's actually the reason I got into the field in the first place, but for some reason, I just never found the right project or idea. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the minutia of it, but I'm going to drop a link in the description if you want to check it out. The game is called Forge Saga, and it's a text-based RPG, utilizing some of the newfangled AI generation that's got everyone up in arms recently. I think we're on the brink of something interesting, and I wanted to take this chance before everything changes out from under me. You see, sometimes I feel like a time traveler. One minute, I'm doing one thing, and then I blink. And time seems to dilate in front of me, putting me somewhere totally familiar. This part of the painting process is always fun for me. It's blocking in those big bold colors and seeing the miniatures come to life with character. I like to invent little stories in my head about who these characters are. Like Griselda here. She's the ship's cook and she makes a mean hardtack stew for the rowdy sailors on board. This is Phil, the lookout boy, and his brother Hank. Now, Hank might look like a downright mean fella, but he's got a heart of gold. Donates all his plunder to an orphanage back home in Port Royal. And of course, there's old Captain Davy Jones himself, crab claw and all. This fella over here looked a bit out of place on the ship, but I gave him a bit of a garish appearance so he'd fit in. I guess he can be the first mate. Turns out I glued these pretty well onto the holders, so I'll have to resort to some barbaric methods to pry them off. I'm also not sure why Cinderella snuck into the crew of the Black Pearl. 
but it doesn't really matter since this little mini got confiscated by my daughter. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to drive these over to my dad's. Who, like me, also needs a little bit of help and encouragement getting back into the swing of things. Thanks so much for watching. Check the links in the description, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.